It's been eight months since this young koala Tintin has seen its home. The joey was rescued by wildlife carer Trish Lee Hong after fires burnt more than 20,000 hectares of land around Crow's Nest, north of Toowoomba, last year. His mother was in the low fork of the tree. Um, she sadly passed away within a couple of hours of us catching her. Tintin is one of 28 koalas Trish saved from the area. Most of them injured, orphaned or traumatised. Once they're strong enough, they're returned to the wild. The koalas are vulnerable species and we need to make sure that you know, we can put as much back into the environment as possible. Good to see them go, but it's a bit of a worry because you're always kind of thinking in the back of your mind, is there enough out here for them? The landscape here looks dramatically different after the fire and food is in much shorter supply. Uh, a lot of the trees uh, lost their foliage and seeing we're in that drought, we didn't have any surface water for koalas. So they basically were starving. As many as three billion Australian animals are thought to have been killed or displaced by last season's bushfires. Here at Crow's Nest, landholders are noticing an absence of wildlife. One of them is Dieter Hins, a retired ecologist whose property was badly burnt. I would say about 90% of it is gone. I haven't seen the wallaby for a long time. He wants to see the government fund revegetation programs to speed up the recovery process. We do have to put some effort in to plant some trees back again. Queensland's Environment Department says it's leading projects in priority areas to help the recovery of threatened species. A long road ahead for these furry friends. Lucy Robinson, ABC News, Crow's Nest.